Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Uh, on the last video, we undercut along the wing here, and we rolled this towards the center to get a nice rollover. And then we ended up marking in pencil uh, the feathers, and they fan out. It's like shorter in the middle, and then they rise up and then drop off on both sides. So we burnt them in. Now I want to show you how to reduce all the material out of here. And then we do some lifting. So bear with me a second here. And uh, we will take you on that journey. Okay. We have this outline that is uh, all burned in. Now what I want to do... To help myself, I use what I call a tungsten carbide bit. Uh, they go under different names. Uh, uh, it could be a typhoon bar or a, a, a cut saw or whatever. There's a lot of them, different makes. And this one is a fine one. So what I'm going to do with this is... I'm going to undercut, or I'm not going to cut, I'm going to get rid of the corners here and come right up. I want to make sure, like I'm routing this out, so you want to keep this very much under control and get right up to the burn. And I'm going to try to show you that. I'm coming around and I'm trying to look straight down so that I take just enough wood off but not go into my burn. I'm going to come and I'm using, it's like a barrel shape. And this will cut fast and it takes out a lot of material. And we have some thickness here. So I'm trying to get Go right up to the burn without taking the burn out. So like on the corner here, I really got to get that down because we got to really come in on that. But you can see I'm bringing it in slowly now so that I don't undercut. And if you look, I have a wall going straight down like right in here. And I don't want you to have it going inward, I want it straight down. Now, I have to take material off of this side, so I'm being very careful because we're coming right up, and I don't want to bang into the wings, neither. So I take it down, very gradually and very gently. Now down here, I'm going to be very careful that I don't bang the wing. Okay. Then blend that out. And if I have anything sloping that way, I'm going to bring it in a little bit, which I think I did right in here. And now I got a lot more down here, and I wanted to make sure I come in from the side here and not bang into the wing. Okay, I think we have that close enough for what I want to do. I hope you can see that real well. You'll hardly see any white out beyond the burn, but there is a little bit. Now, there's several ways you can uh, start taking uh, these feathers down, very similar to what I did before up above here, we have a safe end. So because all of these on this side are like on top of this, I'm gonna come down on these first and you could use a safe end. I'm gonna show you how to use that. Now, uh, for other people, if you feel that you want to come in with, this was the bullet 
it's a bullet shaped one and you can come in get the point in there and lift each one because it's stepping this way and that way you get that curvature and you still want to maintain that you don't want to have it looking like the feathers are coming out this way they're rolling this way so when i take things down i may lose a little bit of the feathering and may have to reburn again so don't feel as though you have to salvage each one and stay above the burn as you step down i don't concern myself with that so let me see if i could show you that i'm going to change out that was a cut saw uh actually uh, that was a typhoon burr is what it was now i'm gonna leave this sticking out a little bit because i gotta do because i'm reaching in there so what i'm doing is i'm laying this right along the edge of the top feather here and i'm actually angling this way rather than straight out okay because i'm not trying to preserve this whole burn of the rest of the feathers. I'm just coming around the top one. Now what I'm going to do is come all the way around. And I need to get some lift in there. You can see I'm starting to lose some of the burn there, but I don't concern myself with that, okay? And it's the same way over here. I'm not going real deep with these, neither. I don't know if you can see how much I left in there, but it's really like paper thin, but I want you to maintain that, you know, at least that. Now, for the feather, I, a couple that I did here, I'm going to come in with the burning pen again, and I'm just going to put it right in my track where I had to burn before. And I will burn that out just to make it act like a stop. Okay, like if you were doing knife work, you drive the knife in and then come along and peel along there. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using the, the burning pen as like a, a, a stop. So we, we got the first one out. Now, I'm going to go and do the next one down. Not this one here. Then I'm going to do the next one down. Then the next one. And then the last one. Now they're staged somewhat, so I'm going to go back in on each one and take them down a little bit more. Now I'm starting to lose some of my burn or the stop, so I'm going to come in and burn these one more time. I know it's a little bit of repetition, but that is what I'd like to do to keep a nice sharp edge and the feathers get detailed out even though they're as close together as they are. Okay, so, so I reinforce it by doing it at the burn again. Then I come in Now, with 
the safe end, I'm going to come in and try to get right up to the burn without reshaping the feather. Okay. This will get you real close. Maybe you want to do it up in here. So you wouldn't want to have done that with the hogging bit because you could take too much out. Now, I'm going to start on this side. I'm undercutting this all the way around. Notice I'm still holding my bit on a slight roll downward. And I'll get the next one down. Next one down. How we're doing here. And it's pretty good. Now I'm going to clean the outside. Yep. Now that could happen sometime with a big jump. So I'm just going to back and clean that up. Let's make sure I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So I'm cleaning the outside now. This comes up like this. And I got them out. Now what I'm going to do to satisfy myself, I want them a little sharper on this side. I'm going to get my burning pen out. And I'm going to burn these in one more time. Just so that I can come back. And what I'll probably do this time is use the bullet just to get in there a little tighter. Turn here. Then we'll get the next one. I hope I ain't drifting again, sorry. over to the bullet just to get this in tight because I got some real tight feathers in there and I'm using the point more than anything else so I'm going to come in here I'll start with the top one which is this little one here and again I'm sloping them downhill as we got it convex up here Now, we got that in and relieved, and it's ever so slight. Now, the thing I want to accomplish before we stop is we have the rump here, and here's your center line that you've been maintaining the body center line. And what I'm going to do is, before we put any feathers in here, 
I have to reduce this. See the thickness we have? We have about eighth of an inch. I'm going to come in and split that difference. I'm going to take about maybe have a sixteenth going across here from the top down. And over here it got a little thinner, but that's okay. We're splitting the difference back here. And here. Now, we're keeping this intact up top down to the 16th. What we're going to do is hollow this out. And I'm going to go back to the carbon. Uh, yeah. Uh, tungsten carbide bit. Excuse me. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go in deep. So I can get to that 16th line. So I'm going to make a pass right down the center. Be careful when you do this. Not to go past that pencil mark. So you have that coming right out. And you're just about to the pencil mark. So I'm going to ask you to scoop this upward from there. And maintain, as you're doing this, that 16 thickness. And go slow here so that the bit doesn't wrap around on you. So I'm bringing everything up slowly so that it is still keeping it concave. And... I bring it right up, almost to the pencil mark. I can't get everything in here with this bit. So I'm going to let the pair do some of this too. Now I'm going to come this way because I know if I get to this edge, it wants to wrap around and it will bugger all of these. So what I do is I lay it this way and try to get down to the the 16th line, but keep it concave, you know, keep things going downhill here towards the center, and then watch my edges as I do it. Okay, let's see what we have left here. Now, I'm going to stop there. There's a little bit of light before the 16th here. So I'm going to switch over to a more forgiving bit because these these can rip and take a lot out real quick, quicker than you want. So now I'm going to the, the pear shape and I'm going to come in here and just smooth this out. This is much more forgiving and more controllable because it doesn't cut as fast. And I'm now going to swing this up to get it to a 16th. And make that nice and smooth in there, okay? And then on this side, let me put the pencil on in so you can see it. I didn't... It gets thinner down here, so you don't want you want to you don't want to take too much off down there. But this comes around to here, and you can see I still have some material to take out. But I'm going to approach it this way on this side because if I came around this way, it'll rip around and start ripping this up, and I don't want that to happen. So I take this direction with it. So I come in here. And I watch my edges, and then I smooth everything out. So, it, so it's making it concave in here. And you want to get this real nice and smooth. And maybe you can't get it real nice and smooth. The one way to do it that's guaranteed is get some sandpaper, fold it up, and then go in there 
and smooth that out. So I'm going to ask you to do that on your own here and get that nice and smooth. And then what I want to do is we do have, and I'm going to put that center on right back again. If you get it nice and smooth, you know, not now. And then we have this rump coming around here. And uh, that looks pretty good. But we got other things to do before. There's another staging in here on the rump. And uh, But I'd like you to get this real nice and smooth in here. And then we'll develop some more up in here. So we have these relieved on top. We, we thinned it down, and now we're going to smooth this out in preparation to do this on, on the bottom. So, uh, hope you got something out of this video. Um, we are moving on, and on the next video, we will tackle uh, relieving these feathers and developing the, the back rump here. There's like a staging that goes on in here, and I'll show you that. So if you got something out of it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you would uh, subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that greatly. And see you on the next video.